Welcome to Types of Chemical Reactions. In this video, we're going to talk about how we can recognize the type of chemical reaction just from its chemical equation. Now, there are many categories of chemical reactions, but we're going to focus in this lesson on five common ones. And while there are more categories, we're going to get to those other ones in later videos. But for this video, we're going to focus on five. The first reaction type is synthesis, which is sometimes referred to as combination. Synthesis reactions generally involve two species on the reactant sides, typically elements, that combine to form one product. Okay? That's the key to recognizing synthesis. Something plus something else, A plus B, yields AB. There's only one product in a synthesis reaction. Our example in this case is magnesium and oxygen forming magnesium oxide. The second type of reaction is the opposite of synthesis. It's called decomposition. Decomposition basically means breaking down. And here we have an example of decomposition. We have two hydrogen peroxide molecules breaking down into two water molecules and oxygen. This wasn't balanced, so I had to add the two. We can see what that looks like over here on the right. And decomposition reactions can be easily identified because there's only one reactant. The next type of reaction is called single replacement, or sometimes referred to as single displacement. In a single replacement reaction, a single element, so in this case zinc, a single element replaces another element in a compound. So we see the zinc replacing the copper, and so on the product side we get zinc with the nitrates plus copper left over. Okay? So it basically kicks out the copper. So in this example, zinc replaced the metal cation in this compound. If it were a different element, it could possibly replace the anion. So a single replacement reaction involves a single element replacing either the cation or the anion in a compound. We have a general form of single replacement reactions that looks something like this. A plus BC gives us B plus AC. Okay? In this general formula, the A replaces the B. We could also have the A replacing the C. A plus BC gives C, because the A is going to replace, in this case, the anion. So we have C by itself with BA. So either one of those two cases could happen. The next type of reaction you could come across is called a double replacement reaction, or a double displacement. Either name is fine. In a double replacement reaction, you typically have two ionic compounds as your reactants. And essentially what happens is that the ions exchange places. So the sodium is going to end up with the chlorine, and the bromine is going to end up with the barium. And that looks something like this. NaCl plus BaBr2. I should balance this too, which means there's going to be two of these and two of these. But generally you can see that the Na is now with the Cl, and the Ba is with the Br. Note that I left the metal cations in the first position in this double replacement. I didn't write BrBa because we write the metal cation first in the ionic compound. The general form for double replacement reactions looks something like this. Ab plus Cd yields Ad plus Cb. Okay? You can think of this as the anions switching places. So the B anion switches with the D anion, and the D takes the place of the B anion. This is a double replacement reaction. The last reaction we're going to look at is a combustion reaction. This example is a combustion of propane reaction. It shows the combustion of propane gas, and it shows that it burns in the presence of oxygen. So this combustion reaction can typically be identified by this addition of oxygen. You should realize that the magnesium plus oxygen reaction we looked at in the very first example of this video was also a combustion reaction in addition to being a synthesis reaction. You can have both types in one reaction. But not all combustion reactions are synthesis. For example, this one is not a synthesis reaction. But it is combustion because it's a reaction with oxygen that produces a lot of energy. So frequently it's easy to identify combustion reactions as a carbon compound so propane is our carbon compound reacting with oxygen. 
The products of a combustion reaction are always carbon dioxide and water in some amount. So carbon compound plus oxygen gives us carbon dioxide and water. These are the products and these are the reactants for a combustion of a carbon compound. Now this reaction assumes that there is enough oxygen present to completely burn this carbon compound. Sometimes that's not the case. If you don't have enough oxygen present, we get an incomplete combustion. In an incomplete combustion, we still have the propane, and it combines with oxygen, but there's not enough oxygen, so what we get as products is slightly different. In addition to seeing carbon dioxide and water, we also see carbon monoxide and solid carbon as additional products in an incomplete combustion. That wraps up our lesson on the types of chemical reactions. We've talked about synthesis, decomposition, single replacement, double replacement, and combustion reactions. Any questions you have, write them down in your notes and bring them with you to class.